loser side. This is your last chance to do the match, Arena. We are twenty-two dollars and twenty cents. Uh, current, at, we're at that number currently. So if you do the match arena right now and fill it to a full thirty-five dollars, that means top three players will get play payout. That includes Dark Falcon, who we just saw. But both of these players are going to be fighting for the lion's share. The Aegis from Jonathan coming out to start. Let's see what we got in Grand Finals. Here at Xeno Wi-Fi number 64! And uh, right now, J Grunt going to work on this Aegis. Already has him up to 82%. Oh my god, interrupting the uh, side B with a neutral air. Bold move, but uh, I respect it. And that up smash to kill. J Grunt feels great right now, but you also got to keep in mind that Jonathan hasn't had a chance to warm up yet. They haven't played in uh, a little over half an hour to an hour. Um, so, you know, they're still trying to, you know, figure out how their buttons work. Um, you know, when you're when you're waiting for that long, it's definitely, you know, momentum coming from the loser's bracket does go a long way. Um, and Jonathan's stabilizing, but not quite in the clear yet. Yeah, I mean, certainly far and away not in the clear, especially if he's swinging photon edges like that. Super punishable. Like, all right, the, the, the classic uh, gambit with that prominence revolt. It's a, it's something that pirate players do often, but it's it's only good when your opponent least expects it. But with how j Grunt's currently playing, certain things like that are only going to work once or twice. So trying to use those so early, it shows how desperate some... Uh, that Jonathan may be just to try and get anything on his side, but no sir, the, uh, the drop shield on the forward air as Chakron continues to widen this lead. Absolutely. So it's two stocks to, or excuse me, three stocks rather than one. Uh, oh, that, I felt like that should have hit, but you know, shows what I know about geometry. Um, falling back air from Jay Grunt, uh, is gonna sight. get, yeah, foresight. What a mechanic in this video game. Yeah. Just yeah. Why why roll when you can just roll better? Yeah. <laughs> Take a little bit of damage, but secure a free punish and at least a combo. Yeah, Mithra Mithra's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah, she she but, uh, is she is in this video game. But it was the pirate backer that ends up taking the stock uh, as as it has been known to do, but still a long way to go from uh, for oh. for Jonathan's part. Oh, I'm surprised we didn't see a smash attack there. I think they just want to guarantee damage, maybe a combo. Um, and they didn't want the uh, drift to throw them off too much. So I respect it. Oh, what a shadow sneak. I'm surprised he's been going for that little stall with the uh, the shuriken so frequently. Like, it's... And I like the idea of it, don't get me wrong. But more often than not, he puts himself in such a good position where just going for that rising uh, back air... Uh, early would often uh, catch or at the very least pressure more more frequently and it's giving Jonathan a little bit of breathing room that he could need to start whittling his way back in this game oh. yeah, he gets it yet again oh okay, okay sure. he's got a photon edge from from ledge I respect it hey man sometimes you just gotta throw something at the wall and see what sticks whenever you're at this high percent uh, that's probably I think... gonna do it no. No, no, no I think this one should yeah the Greninja up throw should be killing. It would kill now with rage, but I don't think it kills. Well, that kills, so it yeah, doesn't matter. I was gonna say, so why would you do that when you could just down tilt and pull it in, huh? Well, the shielding, so you know. But <laughs> if you can, <laughs> if you can just do these incredible empty jumps with Greninja's insane full hop, like let's watch it. Let's watch this full hop. Uh, okay. Wait, so hold fast. On. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna pause it. We're gonna rewind. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna rewind it. There you go. We're gonna come in here. He's shielding and just drop shield. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I thought the first time I've seen that happen. I think the the way the first stock was taken was a uh, a drop shield that ledge forward air from uh, Jay Grunt onto Jonathan. One, go! I believe that is correct. Yeah. So just. Feeling, feeling that pressure in the corner, and that's kind of a Greninja matchup. Uh, maybe not at high percents, because as mentioned, uh, up throw is a kill throw. But you're not really afraid of any of Greninja's throws at low to mid percent, so you can just 
you just take your licks, take the grab, and try to get back to ledge, no problem. <laughs> I, I'm Hop. sorry. Jonathan, yeah. just, he just full hop there, fast fell, three times in a row while Jagrot was hanging up the ledge. <laughs> the best thing you can do, and oftentimes the fastest thing you can do, is nothing at all. True, absolutely. It's... Um, well, maybe maybe not in this game. Jumping is crazy. Jumping, great. <laughs> jumping goes nutty. <laughs> you like teleport into midair is pretty nuts, and especially if you're Greninja and you're feeling Ooh, uh, feeling the love from that incredible full hop. And see, the the grab seems to climb and a full punish off the oh, off of the full side. He got an F smash punish off. That's all oh, through the stage. He carries on, bro. What a down air! Oh man, that's the time we saw this man get bodied off of a uh, dumb spike uh, tonight against Jonathan. Poor guy, can't catch a break, this guy. Ooh, uh, oh my god, two frame with it down. Go no jump. No, down air. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. Dude, I'm terrified, Jonathan. This guy could very well be finding himself uh, on the next Philadelphia PR. He kind of uh, came out of quarantine swinging. Um, at a couple local events that I've been to, and, uh... So, this guy is definitely not someone you should be sleeping on. Oh, no! Another one! A DI, man. He got, he got caught trying to space, uh, holding away to space his forward air, but the... The S-Mash still... Still long enough to reach, and that's a huge, huge swing. What the... This looks like a completely different set from game one. I guess he, like, she shook off the the out of bracket like rust even if he was playing like he shook that off and said all right it's time to attempt to take game two no problem and see if i can bring this one home but not any if not jay grunt has anything to say about it down tilt to forward air tr tried and true but it's gonna be a it's gonna be on jay grunt's survivability if he can bring this back and with how uh, how good jonathan has been on the ledge this game that's gonna be tricky yeah, all right, but you can't go for that no matter how high up you are because sometimes, sometimes it just doesn't work out. And uh, you, you get if you get Jager the slightest bit of momentum, he'll take that in stride and keep running with it. So the shuriken gonna go right through the blazing, no scar, sorry, not that one. The uh, well, yeah, it is blazing end, huh? Wait, blazing end, yeah. Yeah, but the promise for Bolt gonna be a little bit too much. And uh, that is going to be sealing the deal. That's a that's a two stock, if I'm not mistaken, coming out yes, from Jonathan. Uh, again, completely different game from the from the first one. Like a total total swap in the paradigm. From and now you're thinking as if you're Jay Grunt. It's like all right, all right. I won game one against this Pyra uh, Pyra Mithra back in winners finals. I won game one here. He's not going Rob yet, though. What do I do? But then, but then, <laughs> then the swap. There was no swap, and he still took a game. Yeah. So you still have to. You're gonna have to start putting on that thinking cap a little bit, because this isn't a free, a free game anymore. Not that it was before, but when you get two stocks twice, you're starting to get a little bit complacent. Can't 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 be having that in grand finals if he wants to find his way to true finals. And reset this bracket. Yeah, absolutely. Um, don't sleep, my guy, because uh, it, it can come back to bite you. So, okay, yeah, some schmoopit coming around from uh, Jake Runt, uh, trying to weave around Jonathan and try to uh, look for an opening. They've got a couple, you know, almost 30% on the board yet. And now Jonathan is swinging like he is fighting Casper. Um, I mean, Mithra's privilege. She can whiff like that, and it's it's gonna yeah. be hard to. I mean, both of these characters are relatively hard to punish. Mithra with her speed and safety, uh, and Greninja with his more of the same, uh, honestly. It, more of the same, but with the added benefit of having an extremely low dash. So, oh, yeah. but you've been neutral teching uh, so often that that's a free swing. Oh, I like that. That was a great tomahawk from Jay Grunt. Um, to make jo Jonathan be like, okay, I gotta hit the ground, he's gonna hit me here. Nope! You're getting grabbed instead and a little bit of extra damage onto you. Uh, almost a dead Aegis here. Pretty much a dead Aegis here. 
And now we're now we're back in the in the problem if you're if you're Jonathan. Yeah. Pirates real good at finding stocks and closing out uh closing out games with just so much kill power off of her raw tilts. But how do you hit Greninja? Like yep. he's he's too fast and Jangron has been incredibly patient. Yeah, absolutely. Um oh, the backer's not gonna come out. The four tilt is though. Man, that back air kills ridiculously early. It kills off the top, too. Um, so if that hit, that could have very well been the stock, but that tilt wasn't quite enough to do it. Uh, grab, back throw. He's, he's off stage again. He's going to try to get back on. The up air, uh, going for a read, but Jagrot was being super patient there. And whenever Jagrot has a lead, it is very hard to get that back from, from anybody. It doesn't matter who his opponent is, because he is so lax in the face of danger. Like, this guy should go be a, a, a pilot of an airplane or something, or, or lead the next mission to Mars, because this dude really poised in the face of danger. But, um, you know, when uh, when they are in, in the back, they tend to struggle a little bit. Um, to, to claw their way back into into the lead, so you know it's a little. Yeah, bit I mean, I, I definitely say that. Makes him so potent. Well, I mean, we can say the same thing about Jonathan at this point. He's he's fought his way, all, he's fought all the way back, clearing up that eighty percent deficit like it was nothing. Now I'm gonna be swinging with Pyro for a little bit, but the air dodge call out. Yes, sir. You're not landing here. Not in the range of my. Uh, not in the range of my water sword, I guess. But <laughs> he's got a sword. You idiots. <laughs> We've all got swords. <laughs> I like that. That's a good one. <laughs> oh, that was almost a real bad one though for Jake Run. Yeah. Missing the. Uh, just narrowly avoiding Pyro's F smash. But <laughs> that move kills so early. So um, it's, uh, I mean, he gets a lot of moves in Pyro's kit too. But now he's holding center, but how long can he do so? Not not that long with the Prominence Revolt. That uh, that huge whiff is going to cost him quite more than just center stage, going from 30 to 60. And if you're Jay Grunt, this is all just free real estate. You're, yep. you're feeling perfectly fine with the good DI on back air, so you're living that much longer. Yeah. Ooh, oh, and they're not to read the answer right back, though, from Jonathan. That was sick. That was good. I like that. 63 um, is not a lead, everybody, because, oh, look at these combos. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh-oh. That's an even See? game. And, uh, it's surpassed now. <laughs> like, this is... He's going further beyond. Oh, I love these grabs. You need... I feel like Jonathan is going to really start going for a whole lot more grabs in the latter half of this game. I mean, yeah. Jay Grunt feels very calm in... Oh. Oh. in advance. Oh, no. But you're dead. You're not dead. <laughs> oh my god! And oh, that could have been it right there too. That F smash did not come out though because the answer. Oh my god. Okay, there it is. Grab. Jay yeah. Grunt. That was freaky, man. That was a whole lot of spaghetti and a whole lot of shenanigans. But damn. Look Goodbye. at this whole sequence here too. I mean, the photon edge. I'm just gonna drop his shield. Yeah, and so anyway, almost got F smash there, but is able to get the forward out or forward air out really quickly. Falls out of the photon edge. Grab. Oh, yep. He grabbed. Point in time. Yeah. Sorry, mate. And then Boom. you with the grab crash ultimate. Goodbye. <laughs> See ya. Yeah, that's that's gonna be huge. That's that puts. Uh, that puts Jay Grunt in the driver's seat for this set at the very least. But with how improved or with how much better Jonathan looks in this matchup as Aegis, I wouldn't be surprised if this goes right to a game five. But Jay Grunt, Jay Grunt's currently fiending. If he takes this game, we're more than more than likely gonna see the uh, see the Rob to close out the set uh, and to close out the tournament. Yeah, two but, finals. Yeah, but he's got um, to get past. The, G, uh, the Aegis first. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, but right now, uh, it definitely seems like Jonathan is playing back a little bit and really picking their spots a lot better. And as of right now, they have a bit of a lead, but a combo getting started from Jay Grunt, um, taking him to about 50. So, and we haven't seen the swap off of uh, Mithra just yet.
So I think, you know, they kind of realize that Pyro has been the the weaker link, and that's when Jaygrun's been able to deal the most damage. Um, it's only pretty much been coming out for edge guards this this match, or ledge traps rather. So I respect it. That was that was good play from Jonathan to get get a little mix up in there. And now Jay Grunt, the ball is in his court. If, the question is, how is he going to answer? And I, I like the I like the the way he's playing and augmenting this character switch right now. Because why try to use Pyra when Pyra's when Mithra is the better choice in most of these like full stage, full screen situations for juggling for ledge trapping? Yeah, we want to see the Pyra because there's just so much danger in all of Pyra's kit. But if you're trying yeah. to keep up with the J Grunt, Mithra will continually be your best choice. It's just a matter of like, <laughs> choosing your spots, just like with any move. And this is certainly a pretty good spot to be Pyra. Oh, but not yeah. anymore. I was going to say, that's not a good spot to be in general. Um, but, you know, I think J Grunt has a really good conditioning strategy. Um, onto Jonathan because he, he Jonathan's just been dropping his shield uh, a lot of the time whenever Jake runs approaching from the air and that is that is a problem that he's been having all set he's been getting hit by like forward airs out of shields we getting hit by water shurikens out of shield the charged ones that goes through so it leads into a combo and like he might be down right now, but... oh oh you know, I kind of respect not going for the spike there, even though it probably would have been the stock. Uh, uh, because he really might have died too. From that, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but again, back to it being a very close game. Um, Jake Grunt just needs to figure out how to take the stock uh, pronto, or it could be bad. What a good, a good tech! Read. It was a good tech and a good read. Uh, just you know, Jake Grunt was a little bit ahead of his time with that with that read. Sticking with the Mithra for now, just another Photon Edge, that's a huge punish, and this game suddenly is a whole lot more even, despite the uh, despite Jonathan almost constantly being in control. These dash attacks are whiffing, and yeah, I mean, he's certainly whiffing, but Jaygrunt picks his spots and uh, opens up for 23, but gets uh, gets clipped out of hit stun, and that's a that's another combo for Mithra, who can find a starter off of anything. Down air. No, down tilts into the air. Good, oh. good direction air dodge. He was waiting for the neutral air dodge like last time, but Jake Grant not falling for the for the same trap twice. But still, so much damage on the board right now for uh, for Jay Grant. Oh, oh okay. He's going for the stage spike there. I respect it. Uh, it now it's been really hard to tech because that's not something you see a lot of Greninjas go for. Um, that could have been the game right there too. Not, not not, yet, though. Luckily, Jonathan uh, hiding under the stage just a little bit. Oh, oh. uses the air dodge. He uses jump, too. This is gone. <laughs> oh, it's a reset. <laughs> okay, see, that's the second time I've seen that move kill tonight. What the heck's going on? The platforms are crazy, mate. Yeah. Look, how, look at how high he is. Look at that. Yeah, he, he jumps and then switches. Air dodge is up. Yeah, he gets the landing on that platform and then just pushes them. Yeah, well, the, the showed up. That's how far off yeah. Greeny was. At 110, like this is this is certainly certainly gone. Yeah. I mean, that's just solid stuff. Like, and no no sleep. If he wants to stay Aegis, we could very well see that happen. Yeah. But your Rob right now is 3-0. You're in true finals. Maybe you go uh, the the Pyramithra for one more game see how that goes but if he's trying to really close this out and bring out the final boss then perhaps it is time for the rob <laughs> the final boss i like that hey, man. hey you know the final boss of a lot of uh, xenoblade games is a big robot dude this is not untrue, this is not untrue. i've never played a xenoblade game oh, oh he is know, i i know you're an rpg guy so you might enjoy it a little bit i probably would they're just long. They are. I don't have, I don't have a ton of time. Um, but yeah, eventually, uh, definitive with with minimal side questing on my part took me a little under sixty, and then Xenoblade Two, two with like a little bit more side questing took me about sixty. Sheesh. So That's yeah, a lot of time. They're, they're big. <laughs> they're big games. And I'll have to do it eventually because it's on my bucket of games. If you're interested in following me on Twitch.tv/ubl267, but 
<laughs> That's neither here nor there, and I can show just that little bit later because we gotta oh. see who is gonna close this out on true finals this time. Jonathan still sticking with the Aegis and still falling behind as he had been in many of those games prior. That one three stop seeming like an anomaly. So that's for our graphic down there, uh, the scoreboard uh, for both of these guys. <laughs> um, so, you know, Jay Grunt was coming from the loser's bracket, uh, and Jonathan was coming from the winner's bracket, but he's not in the winner's bracket anymore, so I like that. that that's, that's funny. I like this. Anyway. Yeah. Um, All the more reason to sub the House of 3000 spot. Do it. <laughs> also, exclamation mark Maturino to help donate to the pot. Yeah, all all of that good stuff that you can be doing while listening to us talk about this game. And oh boy, has Jonathan Ruth start to reel this back in. The Pyra kind of proving why she's so good. And you got caught dying in on back air. No, no, no. You're dead at 85. Smile. Sucker. <laughs> 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 DLC. Yeah. I paid five ninety nine for my characters. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, your character came in the base game. You, you Ned, <laughs> Mister Moneybags over here gets the money from from winning tournaments to pay for his DLC characters. All right, Spyro, like, calm down. <laughs> Man, oh, oh that's Jake, Jake, Jake has made so many attempts to get a hit on. Uh, and Jonathan just hasn't let a single one of them go through. <laughs> He's playing so passively defensive, but yeah, all it takes is one, and that's gonna be a stock. So, Jake Run, it, in the back a little bit right now, but not out of it. That's a couple combos, and you know, it's a tie ball game. And our ball game certainly this continues, and not, uh, Rapid Jab Punish is a little light, but he was too far away for anything that. Seemingly anything more. Good parry and recognition on the cross-up, but he still nice. gets hit by a solid starter. And now Jake Run's starting to ping pong around the points. Oh, jeez. He wasn't ready for the second drag down, unfortunately. But uh, first one uh, did its work. It got a lot of damage on the board. <laughs> I like that uh, Aqua Jet for just a little bit of extra damage. Or is it Hydro Pump? Hydro Pump. Damn. I'm too smart for my own good sometimes. <laughs> well, I mean, Jonathan says, like, "Hey, if if I'm starting to get a little bit swarmed, why not go back to go back to basics? Up, be out of shield, see how it gets me, and it got him. It netted him that stock, which means Mithra can do what she does best, which is start tacking on small hits and frame trapping into oblivion." Yep. Um, but Mithra's a, a tad bit lighter than Pyra is. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, so just a tad, a, a wee bit there, lad. Um, so, like, a forward air might kill from center stage, especially if you get a setup into it. But a forward throw, gonna get him off stage. I respect it. Oh, and the photon edge. Yeah. For every one time that's gotten hard punish, it's worked twice. So, it makes sense why Jonathan keeps doing it, because Jay Grunt keeps, uh, keeps trying to set up things like Shirk and Art Ledge and getting stuffed for it. So, 81 yeah, yeah. now. That move is so good for whiff punishing landings get directly in front of you because it covers so much space. It has such a ridiculous hitbox, or rather several hitboxes, um, that things just, I don't know, it, it, it's really hard to deal with. It does a lot of damage, covers so much space, uh, and you know, ultimately it is a very good option sometimes. Yeah, miss just a Hydro Pump there. And now the Pyra's on deck trying to find this stock, but Swing and pirate dash attack means you're certainly feeling the pressure right now. And with how many times Jonathan has been air dodging super early, I would not be surprised to see uh, Jay Grunt get a perhaps stock win or game winning uh, advantage off of an air dodge read. The switch is huge. He was going to go for the uh, babysit back air. Uh oh. Ooh, that could have been bad. All right, but Jay Grunt got a reset. Bring it back in. Hold center. That's good. Uh, that was a roll. No, good DI from Jay Grunt. The next one probably will do it, though. That was immaculate DI. And, and I mean, you're still in the corner here, but with how slow Pyre is and how quick uh, Greninja can get so high, like it's there. It's be hard, but the falling Nair does end up closing it out. I mean, even with. Uh, 
even with John, uh, excuse me, Jay Grun able to get out of the corner so reliably against Pyra, he still had to find his way to. He still had to find his way in. He still had to try and do something, and the landing there did eventually close it out on the slightly overzealous jab uh, dash. Excuse me. It looks like he was trying to dash up and go for something like a down tilt or an up tilt. Scoop up the landing, but Jonathan landed with these aerials, just like in that stock one, closing out the game. Yeah, Ooh, all PS2 today. Yep. So now you think Jonathan stays uh, Aegis just a little bit longer. Um, I, I say he stays until he loses another game, then he's going to bring out the uh, Rob. But again, time will tell. We're going to be going back to PS2, I think. No surprise there. And um, I think it's all about who gets his first stock here, honestly. I think Jagrunt, if he explodes, is is going to be um, able to take this game quite handily. But I think vice versa, if Jonathan is able to get the first stock, it's going to be really difficult for Jagrunt because he's already down in the set. And uh, you, you don't want to be you don't want to be two games down, especially feeling that pressure. Uh, in game two. How many times has that worked? But, like, I don't... I'm just... I'm watching these two players play and how back and forth it can go. Like, it's... It's more than just, like, footsies now at this point. They're really trying to put... Uh, put pick spots and place, uh, place moves where they really expect the player to be, or at the very least, where they're going... Uh, where they're headed at the moment. That grab will miss. Oh, too high for the down air up smash. Yeah, sometimes that spike's a little too powerful. Yeah, you gotta, gotta adjust your confirm and gotta oh. hop right over the shuriken. Hey, why not try to punish Greninja for throwing that out? Especially since it's one of the few times Greninja's standing still. That's exactly. good stuff on Jonathan and with picking, picking that pristine spot to try and strike and... I mean, it's, it's only going to get harder for Jagrun, especially with a, a whiff confirm on that part. Still living, air dodge used. Yeah, no, I, I love that Nair to come down too, um, because we saw Jagrun going out for that back air, but the Nair was able to cover uh, cover themselves and be like, yeah, you, you're not touching this without taking a little bit of damage and giving me a free ticket back to stage. See ya. That's like the easy pass at an amusement park. Just cutting right through that line. Cutting right through the frog like butter, like hey, I don't want to, I don't want to be ledge trapped anymore. I'm just gonna play aggressive, get on stage with my giant sword. What are you gonna do about it? You can, if you keep swinging there and trying to jump away, this prominence revolt will still hit you. Hitboxes galore on Jonathan's side, but as long as they all keep connecting, Man, he's feeling really good. Yeah, and Jonathan's really come to live the second set. I mean, you know, they're up three to three to one right now, and. I gotta be honest with you, you know, it's not looking very good for our hero, Jagra. But the up air is gonna be sealing the deal, so a little bit of bleeding stopped here, but still, I mean, you know, the, it's the Mithra time, and this speed really does kill in this matchup. The the thing about Greninja is they're not used to having their speed answered and even surpassed, so, you know, Mithra's able to keep up with Greninja more so than most other characters in the video game. On top of that, the pressure that Mithra can exude really pokes at a huge weakness in Greninja's game plan. Um, blocking as this character really sucks, which is why things like Prominence Revolt and its massive vertical hitbox prove to be so deadly because Jagrunt doesn't want to stay in shield. And we can see it in this final clip. Yeah. It's a... Uh... Man. Something I will yeah. say about... Jonathan. He runs up, he blocks, and he jumps. Like, he blocks for, what is it, like, a frame. Let's see. A couple frames. Yeah, like, five or so frames. Jumps immediately, but he still gets caught. Like, that's... You don't want to be in a spot... You don't want to be shielding as Greninja, but jumping around Pyra if it isn't much better. Absolutely. And, you know, that... Uppy landing has has the hitbox comparable to Power Geyser, not quite as strong, but still pretty good at killing. It's pretty good. 
Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> so this could be last game of the tournament for uh, Jay Grunt. And right now, Jonathan really feeling that and uh, is going out swinging. Uh, already 63, a little bit more than that percent on the board. And um, nothing, nothing that Jay Grunt can't make up in a blink of an eye, though. A good tech, but good follow on Jay Grunt's part to still match, uh, match 60 for 60. And the damage is... Damage is about even thus far. This first stock, as you mentioned, is really quite crucial just to see who's chasing who in a lot of times. So it's it's do or die for Jake Run right now. Yep. And uh, yeah, I mean, especially considering you're you're down two games in grand or excuse me, true finals. F smash. Nice. And that is a that is a stock lead right now from Jay Grunt. The first he's had in a while. Um, so let's see if he can do much with it. I think he needs to get at least 50 or 60 percent extra credit in order to feel comfortable um, before he loses his first stock. With only 13 on the board, though, Jonathan doesn't seem like they want it to be any more. And with the coverage, Flame Nova is virtually uh, very, very, very safe on whiff, so you don't have to don't have to always worry about the hardest punishes. Still. Okay, well he got a little bit more than that without taking a, uh, a hit on that second stock, so I think it all evens out. Jab block. The jab, yeah, the reset into a quick conversion. Now 50, got Mithra's dash attack just proving such a thorn in uh, in Jay Grunt's side. Is he gonna switch? No, he comes down with Nair. Okay, aggressive out of the corner and very much rewarded for it with a quick 75. Nice, okay, there goes the blazing end. Um, Made Jonathan a little bit vulnerable there, but not very much. Uh, a weak hit there is going to be connecting. I feel like a little bit of percent. Yeah, okay. To he, he had to read damage. on that up smash. The Hydro Palm. Not much is happening here, though. It looks like, you know, Jay Grunt really trying to get that kill. Oh, and it's the back air tournament stock for Jay Grunt. You were literally just saying it. Like he really wanted that kill. He was trying to poke. He's trying to do things like that, like empty land. Look for down tilts. And Jonathan has been doing a phenomenal job in this true finals of calling out Jay Grunt's desperation. He also had the read there, but just a little bit too early. Uh oh. Okay, the Nair not gonna kill. Very close to it though. For some reason. Didn't know that move also killed, but you know. I'll take it. Yeah, man, I mean, now, he's, he's, he certainly okay. takes it. Okay, nice forward air. This is where it gets really scary, though, if you're Jay Grunt. 72, it's not, you're not really at death percent, especially to, uh, to Mithra, but you do have to start making it up, and the air dodge read and calling out with that in there is gonna be, gonna be a good way to start. Quick 40 but still a long way to go. Okay, a couple hits out of Photon Edge. Good good stuff from Jay Grunt. Back here, who's trying to get the kill right there, and they're not gonna kill just yet, though. All right. Okay, he's the down here, down here. Up here, not gonna connect. Antsy, okay, he's gonna go for it again. It, like, right in center stage. He's shielding right now. Okay, Jay Grunt coming down with a net. Yeah, there it is, and there it is. Yeah, that's gonna do it. That is Xeno Wi-Fi 64 going to Jonathan. Ending the set with an upbeat from Pyra, uh, a 3-0 after the reset. Uh, with his Aegis, he needed the Rob to get him into Grand Finals, but other than that, pretty much solo Aegis for this whole tournament. And, uh, look you at know, this. yeah, look at that. Gruesome hitbox. I mean, this is, this is really the story of the set in one image, right? Like, Jay Grunt poking, prodding, trying to play... Like, I mean, we were on PS2 the entire time, but he's playing this whole area. He wants to try and bait people into thinking he's coming down with an aerial. That's why his empty landings are working so well. He wants to make Jonathan feel pressured and force him to play on the floor so he can snipe him with down tilts and, and dash attacks or dash grabs if he's shielding too much. But Jonathan, with that massive hitbox, being able to bisect that area and come down with a killing with a killing strike that's all he needs yep and here comes real close for y'all 
And uh, that that's the tournament. It's good stuff on Jonathan's part. Like the the bracket was reset, and he he uh, he was feeling the pressure there after a three one, but a quick three zero in well. A 3-0 in true finals. It's what's going to do it. And he didn't even have to rely on the old main like he yeah. did in winners. Just making sure that the Aegis worked. And by golly, it did.